Okay, here's a quick down and dirty way to create a reflection and uh, in a flat surface on the x-axis here. Uh, I'm just going to grab a texture by holding down the control key and dragging it into the stage. And uh, let's uh, then rotate it here. And let's enlarge it. This will be our floor. And uh, drag that over here. Okay, now let's go over and uh, modify that a little bit just to make it look a little more like a floor. There we go. That'll work. Let's go ahead and get rid of our grid by Control G right there. Okay, and let's uh, go ahead and add surface. That'll hopefully uh, give us some reflection in the floor once we get something to reflect. And I'll go ahead and drag another texture in here. Let's say we got a door here. Okay, so now let's go over to our content and let's find uh, water. As far as I know, pretty much any water will work. Just going to double click there. Now we've got the water here, and you'll notice, of course, we have some animation going on with that water. Probably not what you want unless you have a flooded house. And uh, let's go over here and uh, get our height down and let's make the size a little smaller here. Uh, and once again, what we're going to do now is delete this bump map and any other map that happens to be in your water. So find the little trash can here, like so. And now, uh, if you go over to Scene and click on Water, you'll be able to use your adjustment keys. I'm using my center mouse wheel and raising and lowering that uh, water plane. Get the surface. And then you'll have some more adjustments over here in the water, basic adjustments for the water. Uh, one thing I always like to do is, uh, of course, you don't have to worry about size or speed anymore because there's no bump map that's going to be animating. Uh, edge softness will make a big difference. You can adjust your clarity. If there's any fog, you can probably turn that off. You won't need that. Uh, above surface strength, you might play with. Underwater strength, you can probably turn these off. Uh, don't make a big difference if they're on or off. Uh, but you can now play with these above surface adjustments and that will give you a pretty good reflection uh, for your water and uh, let's go ahead and even add some more things to reflect in there let's just add a sky for now not that that would necessarily be reflecting but now you can see uh, we've got this and then uh, to adjust that water's reflection what I always like to do is uh, make sure you've selected it and uh, go over here and adjust probably the adjustment will give you the most control uh, I found is the edge softness you can really adjust the reflection there that makes a big difference so that's worked real well for me if you just put reflection onto your floor surface I don't think you'll be happy iClone at this current time really doesn't handle reflections very well and it'll only handle reflection obviously using really the water plane uh, along the x-axis here uh, pretty much anything else uh, doesn't reflect properly. It will enlarge these reflections in the floor and not look very realistic. But uh, this is one way I think that will give you a pretty nice reflection on the floor.